Natsuki. 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 It's like a Pokemon. Natsuki. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, hey, the show started. Uh, uh, oh, God, what have we done? <laughs> oh, oh, hey, everyone. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm Microscopics. With me, as always, Chewbacca. Uh, what do you want to be called? Do you like Chewbacca? Do you like Becca? Do you like Rebecca? Do you like Dank? Dank Beamer. Dank McQueen. Dank McQueen. All right, Dank McQueen is with me. Uh, so, yeah, this is Yuri now. Uh, she's going to tell us what those things are. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can do so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a lot. I, uh, uh, I'm Joe Oh, you're Joe. Oh, is it so confusing? Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. I read. Red. I know. Read red. <laughs> I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Say, he, 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 your cupcakes, your poems. <laughs> you are you, I am me. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh, oh. Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki. You write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? <laughs> no! <laughs> the Tsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. <laughs> you must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart for Narnia and for Aslan too! Uh... <laughs> do, you, do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Bleh. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw. Aw! I wanted to read everyone's poems! We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone! Bleh. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Bleh. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen that bond of the club. Isn't that right, Joe Slops? <laughs> Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Ugh. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that... <laughs> eh? eh? <laughs> now that we're back in the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never Do you guys it. like... Just... Club. <laughs> so do you guys like... Do it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> 
Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with de dejected eyes. Oh, oh. Natsuki doesn't look sad. She just looks like she's pissed. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I thought... <laughs> Joe Slops! <laughs> you, you all... <laughs> I, I, I'm definitely, I'm defenseless against these girls! How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, lord, hey. lord. I said the line, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, th thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring in, uh, to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Joe Slops, <laughs> I look forward to seeing how you impress, express, exp yeah, yourself. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Joe Slops! Uh, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Hmm. It's time what? to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite. Oh my god. Uh Oh, so are there going to be words that pertain to like oh. Okay, so well, remember. Do... Oh, wait, okay, no. so check it, ready? I guess she's into like the anime stuff. She's into the horror stuff. Papa. Oh. Papa. Bubbles. Bubbles. Um death. Yes. Oh, she's oh into like God. crazy. What? Shit. All right, marshmallow. Yes. Uh. Anxiety. Yes. Suicide. Yes. Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. Oh God. Massacre. Um. Boop. Yes. <laughs> yes. Scars. S scars. I thought I said ham. Yes. Fickle. Fickle. Climax. <laughs> Pout. Um, lollipop. La la lollipop. Oh lord, misfortune. M misfortune. <laughs> Puppy. Whisper. Uh. What the main inferno. <laughs> the candy. Wrath. Wrath. I I I wasn't even keeping track of like <laughs> who got more. <laughs> Hi again, Joe Slops. <laughs> glad, glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Joe Slops. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. <laughs> Making you dive headfirst into my boobs and into literature when you're not accustomed to it. 
Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Oh, Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. I, I, I don't. I don't want to see the end of it. Please, please don't end it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in, her cl in the club room. Yeah. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga's literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys! Joe Slops always gives it his best as long as he's having fun! He helps me with busy work <laughs> without me even asking! Because I trained him to do that. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Oh my god, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> the Illuminati doom, triangle doom. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Ooh. How come? You and Joe Slops can become good friends too! Uh, uh, um... S Sayori. Hmm! Yeah. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh! You even brought you something today! You know... W wait, Sayori! Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy! I it's really nothing. What is it? N n never mind. Say where you made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, wh what do I do? Eh, I I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. Oh, look at her face. It's all shy. <laughs> so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is, is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, <laughs> discuss know. it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so fucking cute? Oh! She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much! Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, <laughs> you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh with, uh, from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! She, she never puts my stuff back in the right spot! What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? I was gonna say, this is a nice change of music too, by the way. Michael. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I see. Mike Fix! Mike Fix! Okay, sorry about that. There's a lone volume of manga 
admits. Oh, okay. Admits a stack of various books. You, you see that, right? Yeah. I was like, what is a mitzvah? A mitzvah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll start that again. <laughs> There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Then she turns to a box of manga and slips in the volume right into the middle of the rest. Okay. Ah, uh, much better. Seeing a box set with <laughs> is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait girls. <laughs> <laughs> What? I get sloppy to that. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. H hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. Oh, heck. <laughs> heck! But I'll tell you one thing, Joe Slops. <laughs> Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact... Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right in my hands. Ugh. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly... Mo? Mo. Don't just stand there. <laughs> Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. Bleh. She pats on the ground. She pats on the ground? Okay. Next to her, uh, signaling me to sit there. Ooh. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? I, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, she's bleeding. Don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's per a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer. Reclaiming an additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I could feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh... I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can't talk at the same time. It looks like it's about to... It's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So... What should I expect from this? Is there gonna be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you to get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like, when they get all into their backstories, and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts! Uh, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Wah! <laughs> oh, wah! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Good save. Ah, <laughs> uh, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Natsuki pauses for a moment, as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does 
that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence! I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. <laughs> like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga! <laughs> I feel bad for anyone that's impressionable! <laughs> Jesus. Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Nasuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Ooh, oh. I'm liking this. Wow. We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! Even though you're just watching me read? Uh oh. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? <laughs> hmm? You don't? Um. Oh, she's getting nervous. That's. that's not. I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? C could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. <laughs> like, I could ever get any friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like... You still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. Jesus, this is getting freaking deep. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? <laughs> so? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough! Are you gonna keep reading or what? Or are we gonna keep playing at this point? But I think we're gonna have to wait till the next episode. Uh, Dank McQueen, whatever we decided to call <laughs> you. Um, she looks like she's five. So the way I took this is like, I think depending on who you, wh whoever's words you chose more of, I think that's who we would have ended up spending time with during this scene. That's my assumption. Oh. Like, I think if we chose more of Yuri's words, we would be with Yuri right now. And same thing with Sayori. Well, I like Natsuki. <laughs> yeah, well, pff, I, listen. <laughs> it is what it is. So. Oh, my. Um. <laughs> <laughs> had a bit of a scare. We're ending right now. So. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks for your help earlier. The car. Good night. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. Yeah, we're ending it right now. <laughs> you got scared. <laughs> yeah, I just saw like something moving. Jeez, I thought it was like <laughs> Natsuki. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember the last thing we said to cut all that part, all that stuff out. Should we just redo the ending? <laughs> Probably. Like our ending yeah. of dialogue? Okay. Um. <clears throat> Alright, so you know what? Read this. Read this line. Are you going to keep reading or what? Um, We're going to have to keep reading later in the next episode. So, Dank McQueen. I'm just wondering where her nose is. Um, You see this cute little shadow? <laughs> Okay, that it means there's like a cute. nose somewhere over here cast casting the shadow. It's like someone took like a, a push pin and just I'm just wondering what's with this 
bang band. <laughs> what's what's what, the purpose? What else would you call that? A, it's a bang it's, band. It's a little, uh, it's a clip. And then she's got flowy things over here. Oh, yeah, they're, they're okay, those ribbons. are ribbons. Okay. My so God, she's got Mike. hidden so pigtails. Uncultured. But if you look at her is hair. Is that a tear? She's got different. Is that a tear? No, no, I think it's sweat. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That, that is sweat. <laughs> so because attractive. she's, yeah. Um, well, because she's like blushing. She's under no, pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got uh, Joe Slop sitting next to her. Like, I know, honestly, Joe do, do you, the stud. What is with her hair, though? I love it. She's got like this going on. Then there's some. These bangs are doing cornery things and pig, kind of pigtails. She's and, bringing sexy back. And then she's got this bang band. I don't know. Anywho. It's a clip. Guys, thank you again for joining us. Uh. I'm excited. Dink McQueen. Oh. So she's your favorite so far? I love her. She's oh, cute. Man. Well, she she's sassy. I'll give it that. I don't know who my favorite is She'd yet. She'd be my slave. I mean, like, I may, I'm, <laughs> I can't say. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And as always, peace.